All right, guys. So this is a 300ZX I just picked up. It's uh, got some kind of, I'm sure, like a knockoff Rocket Bunny wide body kit on it. Um, it is LS swapped, so that's kind of cool. But it's done very, very poorly. Um, it does have a T56, but it's like kind of whatever oil pan. And you can see where they kind of like notch the frame or the the cross member right there. So the swap stuff is kind of junk. Uh, it's ISR mounts or engine mounts. I don't have the transmission mount. Some little cheap eBay headers. <laughs> you know, my original game plan was to take the engine and transmission out of this and put it in the white car. But, I don't know, probably just going to end up selling the engine and transmission and the shell and doing something else with the other car. So, But to get started, we're going to get everything out of this thing and just see what I have. And kind of take inventory of what's inside this thing because it's full of junk. So, But as you guys can tell, I mean, it's just like there's stuff packed in this thing. So, look at the drive shaft. It kind of looks like they just took the posic drive shaft and knocked it off there and just welded a drive shaft into it that doesn't even look like for a t56 looks too small we'll see got some exhaust in there Looks like a cat <laughs> been sleeping in there. It has some interesting stuff. Like for some reason they done away with like the original pedals, which I still have and like tried to do some aftermarket stuff. This is like a thrall cable I'm assuming. But clutch pedal, I don't know why they mounted it so freaking far over. That's crazy. But got the key, that's good. Got the front bumper. It's just like so the kit's not in very good shape. It's all cracked up and broke everywhere, so. Might not look bad all painted one color, but I just I can't stand body work, so I'm definitely not gonna mess with this shell. I'm just gonna take what I need off of it and sell everything else. So that's a little magnet. Like one of those $300 Amazon intakes. So. Wiring harness looks kind of the same. It's just one of those cheap little Amazon specials. But I'm assuming it works. Got a relay down here. Show you guys why you don't store parts in your cars, man. I'll never understand why people do that. They're working on something, they get fed up working on it, they're just like, okay, just pile it in on, in on my interior. So whether you're keeping the car or not, it's just going to hurt the car, hurt the value. So don't do that. Look at that crap. Yeah, and after it sits in the sun for a little while, it might come back. But still, just don't do it. I'd say my man likes stickers, though. There's stickers all over this thing. But it's, a, it's in about the shape I was thinking. <laughs> Look like a freaking damn bird got in here or something. It's pretty disgusting. 
We'll never understand how cars get this bad. That's it. Driver seats destroyed. I'm pretty sure they got like this top pad right here. They picked up to fix that. Don't do much good if you let the rest of the seat get destroyed though. Like I said, got the front bumper, got the course port, some cheap headlights, a lot of eBay parts. A lot of eBay parts. This radiator. But yeah, like I said, the only reason I got this thing was for the swap stuff to go back in the white Z. But like I said, the stuff here is not really worth it. So it'd be different if it was like, you know, I don't know, actual decent looking engine. This thing looks horrible. If the T56 is good, that's pretty much the only reason I bought this thing. So there's some stuff that can be used on some of the cars I got, but I think I'm just going to take what I need and sell what I don't. So but you guys might see this thing again. Yeah, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with this thing yet. Like I said, um, I'm not a big fan of body work or doing fiberglass work, and it looks like this thing's going to need a lot, so um, I'm not I'm not really interested in doing that. So I'll probably just take like the cool bits off of it, like the tail lights, and you know, some stuff, put them on my car, get my white car together, and uh, you know, actually have a car and go drifting in and not really care about. So definitely going to do that. But I have a plan with the uh, white car, so I think I'm going to, I don't know yet. I don't know if I'm going to finish the LS swap in that thing or do an HR swap. I kind of like the idea of buying a crashed HR car, switching everything over, having full interior, and just having a nice HR 350Z that I can go drifting in and stuff like that, so, and drive to work. But having some, you know, stripped down, track only 350Z, LS, whatever, roll cage, I mean, I don't know. It's cool, but having a car that you can actually use is cool too, so. And plus it wouldn't cost me that much money. I'd probably pick up a crash car from like Copart or something for hardly anything. Anyway, I'm rambling now, so. <laughs> but yeah, you'll see this thing again, I'm sure, as I'm taking parts off of it and everything. It would be cool to have like, you know, a rocket bunny lowered, you know, slammed to the ground car to go drifting in and stuff like that, but I don't have the money to keep both cars, so. Anyway, we'll see. <laughs> All right, guys. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you on the next one.